Welcome to Connective TV, I'm Jess DeRouge. Today we're joined by Mario Rehayam, who is the Director of Sales and Distribution at Pepper. Mario, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much for having me. So Mario, tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, um, how personal do you want to get? <laughs> uh, I turned 38 this year um, and I'm married, been nine years married, three lovely children. I got a six-year-old George, a three-year-old Ivy Marie, and a two-year-old Alexander. That'll keep you busy. It does. Well, it keeps my wife busy more than <laughs> I do, but yeah. <laughs> it's, a share, it's a shared responsibility, but uh, yeah, it's uh, three kids under six. It's uh, full on. When you're not at work, where might we find you? Well, uh, at work. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, work for me is uh, pretty full on. It's, it's, a, um, it's, a, it's a great atmosphere to be around, and um, I do train a bit. Once, once in a blue moon, whenever I get a chance to. But uh, any spare time I have, I spend it with the kids. So, so the Director of Sales and Distribution at Pepper, what, what does that role actually entail? Yeah, it's, um, it's actually getting interesting by the minute. So uh, when I first took over back in uh, January 2011, uh, the, the role was obviously uh, Director of Sales and Distribution, which meant that I looked after the strategies, um, built up the team within the actual industry uh, for, for Pepper uh, nationally. And um, now it actually has got more of a offshore and onshore uh, responsibility. So I also oversee all the uh, global uh, presentations that we have within uh, Pepper, which is uh, South Korea, uh, Ireland, UK and Spain. Wow, that would keep you busy. It does, it does, but it's, uh, it's actually uh, a really good uh, ride to be a part of. So That's awesome. Mm. Now we're jumping ahead. How did you actually come to work in the mortgage and finance industry? Yeah, it's, um, it's actually, uh, I think I went ass about. Um, <laughs> I didn't join <laughs> didn't the, uh, oh yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, my actual mortgage broker convinced me to become partners with Obviously him. Obviously a connective uh, um, broker. Um, well, <laughs> we'll leave that one out, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, he, he was, um, I was actually doing a, a transaction and he said to me, look, I know you've got uh, no other property to sell at the moment and uh, are you looking for work? And I said, oh, what do you got? And he, he brought me into the industry as a, as a mortgage broker. I was very fortunate. Um, the actual mortgage broker um, was of a, a very high calibre and very fortunate that I had a very good mentor. And hence the reason why I'm very passionate about education within the industry, mm. because it really does matter um, on what kind of mentor you have within the industry, on how you become uh, in this in this actual in this role, or you know how good you become in, in mortgage broker and, and so forth. So very fortunate, but that's how I actually entered, and I uh, then took a role in retail banking, then I took a role in uh, mortgage brokering, uh, in, in actual Pepper. I went to Pepper twice. So uh, that's, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. It would in a set nutshell. you in good stead having been a mortgage broker yourself, now dealing with our members. It actually is a blessing in disguise. Um, it really uh, allows me to appreciate the challenges that mortgage brokers have on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and um, I, I can confidently say that I was a successful mortgage broker, so I, I knew what it was like to start from the ground up and actually build a decent business, and the business is still going strong today. Wow, fantastic. Mm. So speaking of going strong, Pepper's been very strong recently. You've it always has. been very good supporters of Connective. We have. And this year you've come on board both as a gold sponsor and a Connective TV sponsor, which we are very grateful for. Mm -hmm. Tell me, why Connective TV? Look, for us, whenever we find an opportunity, we, we grab it with both hands. And um, this is a, a golden opportunity for us. And I just hope I can hold on to it for as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> But look um, yeah, look out. Look, for us, it was, um, it, it really coincides with what we do today uh, with our e-learning modules. Uh, we believe it's, it's, it is the way of the future for brokers. They are very busy, time poor, and they need this type of uh, learning, this type of uh, options and opportunities to be able to just click at the only, whenever they want to, at the leisure of their office or their home, um, and be able to catch up on as much information and as, quick as, as quickly as they want. They don't have to sit there and go to a PD day. They can actually get everything that they want when they want. Now you spoke earlier about education and mm -hmm. you just mentioned e-learning modules then. Pepper are doing some really exciting stuff this year, obviously yeah. very focused on education. Why don't you tell the brokers a little bit about that? Yeah, so our Better Business e-learning modules um, have been going on for two years now. Uh, we initially launched that last year uh, in conjunction with a company called Sales DNA. So we've 
used very um, heavy duty resources both internally and externally to make sure that we do best of class e-learning modules. The e-learning modules entail, they have, uh, well, the ones that we've launched so far is all about brokers uh, understanding how to better get out there in a relationship management process. So how do you go out there and actually network and you know, build a relationship management. And the other one that we've got out there at the moment was the how to best uh, position a CVP, which is what we call a compelling value proposition. So those are the two modules that we have out there today. Uh, we're just about to finalise one of our uh, third modules, which will be how to effectively create a business plan. And it's right. all around the mortgage broker. So this is what brokers will find and Connective have, have told us that they like about them is it's all about the mortgage broker. It's got nothing to do with product uh, push or bash. Uh, so it's, it's come back off the, f the feedback of brokers of where they struggle within their business. And that's the kind of material that we've been putting together. How would brokers get access to these resources? Well, guess what? They're for free. Oh, free. <laughs> they are for free. <laughs> so um, very expensive. And look, once people watch them, they do really actually appreciate the the detail, the level of detail that have gone into the content and to the actual visual effects that are that are part of it. So um, you just simply go online to, to Pepper Online, and um, you go into the e-learning uh, hub and click away and watch at your own leisure and feel free it's got coaching mode as well where it asks you questions and it's got mini modules that'll keep you fresh all the time in, in, in all the different subjects that are there and the beauty of them is is that they're broken up in like 10 minute lots so you can really you know quickly watch uh, uh, freshen up and get back on there and it's good to notice that um, brokers of all ages so whether they've been in the industry for a year or 15 um, they've both enjoyed the actual modules. So it's, it's really worked and it's, um, it's actually something that we're very proud of. Now, other exciting stuff from Pepper. You've recently, this April, announced some rate cuts. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, why not? Um, look, for us, you know, rate cuts out of cycle has always uh, been a given for us. So whenever we find an opportunity to actually leverage off our, our diverse and our very strong funding uh, arrangements that we have with our, with our funders, we will always challenge the status quo and, and push for that. So we have now, uh, we see a niche in a particular market and particular segment of LVRs. So we'll go out there with a sharper rate to ensure that we utilize as much volume out of that as possible. So what are the rates? Well, the rates start at 485. Um, our specialist rates start at 619. So uh, if you have a look at it, we're guaranteed to beat anyone's rate as long as you match the policy apple to apple. So for our brokers, all of those new rates have been up, laid up Sorry. For, for our brokers, all of those new rates have been updated in Mercury, so you can jump on and start using those now. Now, Mario, what else is happening? I feel like Peppers, there's lots going on. What else can we look forward to in 2014? Yeah, look, for us, it, um, it doesn't stop. Uh, if anyone that knows Pepper understands that uh, not only onshore do we, you know, in Australia, do we constantly look for, for, for new entrants, but uh, we always look at uh, obviously uh, offshore as well, so acquisitions and uh, organic growth. But for, for connective brokers, the good things that are coming out is obviously our one-stop shop. So we now have the prime product, we have a near prime product, and we have our specialist product. So a connective broker today can lodge a deal at 12 o'clock and have an answer done at the same day. And if it doesn't fit prime, we automatically approve it through the near prime or the non-conforming. So it's a one application, multiple solutions. It's probably one of the only lenders out there that can give them that kind of SLA. Uh, whether they give us one deal or 10, it's the same, same SLAs. So That's great. That is, it's pretty awesome. Really, so really we, awesome. we are very, uh, we're proud as punch with the, with the SLAs that we have out there. Um, we don't see anyone out there that can actually match that. Um, and it's something that we actually constantly even want to try to better. So, you know, we want to try to get things out there in two hours in, rather than five. So it's a, it's a constant battle for us to make sure that we are best in class. It is all about service, so you're spot on there, Mario. It is all about service. Now, enough business. Are yes. you ready for some hot seat questions? Go for it. <laughs> all right, Mario, Rehaman. Rehaman. <laughs> I'll get there, I'll get there. <laughs> Mario Rehaim. That's the one. What's something that you couldn't live without? My children. Worst habit? Talk too much. Oh, really? No. <laughs> this, one, this is not joking. <laughs> <laughs> What's something about you that most people wouldn't know? I wouldn't know. Um, that I've got an extensive collection of old European currency. 
that's cool. Yeah. How so old I'm, are they? I, like, what's the oldest one? I've got some uh, coins from probably 230 to 300 BC. So, yeah, I've got a really extensive collection there. Yeah, so, uh, so something real what's different. What's the history there? Like, what's the passion? You just. Well, it's going like to sound it a bit corny, but um, my grandmother gave me a, um, a, an old uh, Lebanese lira um, when I was probably around six years old. And uh, it was put in my photo album, and I've just been fascinated with that ever since. And then it probably, you know, started my passion. That. So Plus that's you a bit different. Coin from you know a six year old. Oh yeah. Look, out, look where you are now. <laughs> um, if you could do another job for a day, what would it be and why? Ooh, that is a tough one. Um, well, my other passion is motor racing, so I'd probably go uh, straight into that full time. Right. Are you so, any good? Yeah, I, I consider oh, myself you don't pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Yeah. If you could invite three people to lunch, mm -hmm. who would they be and why and where would you take them? Okay. Um, look, the general, the general answer for that would, not, would probably be from me would um, it'd be uh, Will Smith. Oh, yeah. Bill Clinton okay. and Charlize Theron. <laughs> but to be frank and to be brutally honest, I'd probably take my three children. Oh, what about your wife? She can wait. Yeah. <laughs> I, see her, I, see, I see her enough. <laughs> the children, probably m most of all. And where would you take them? Wherever they want to go. As oh, long as I can spend a whole you. day the with, them, with them, I've got no issues there. Because as we all know, uh, time constraints and, and you know, time is precious. Kids grow up too quick. So I'd, uh, I'd give them that so, as much yeah. as I can. So. Larry, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for, for joining for me on the couch me. today. And also thank you for Pepper's support this year. We very much appreciate it. It's our it. pleasure. So for all of the connected brokers, you'll get to see Mario at the Fiji conference, but you'll also get to see him before that because later on in Connective TV this year, we have a new segment. Mario, what is it called? It's called Samarios, which means scenarios with Mario. Please don't bag me out about it. <laughs> it's a marketing, Your marketing idea. team would have loved that. <laughs> they did. And I asked them to come up with something quirky. I have to be quiet now. <laughs> Very good. So if you have any scenarios that you'd like to run past Mario, please send them through and we'll be covering up on Connective TV later this year. Mario, thank you so much for joining me. It's been lots of fun. Thank you very much. That was Connective TV. I'm Jess Rouge. Goodbye.